Okay, so since you are here, I am assuming that you want to get to know PHP. If this is your first programming language that you want to learn, don't worry. You are on the right track and hereafter I will take you through the various concepts of PHP which will help you to make some real world web applications. In fact, PHP is one of the most easiest and the widely used scripting language across the web. Okay, so let's begin with PHP with MySQL for web application development. Getting started with PHP. Prerequisites. We'll be looking at prerequisites. That is what all things you need to know before beginning with this programming language or rather scripting language. Introduction to PHP. We'll be looking at what the PHP is exactly. The various advantages of PHP. We'll be looking at how the PHP is currently being used across the web. Prerequisites. Before learning PHP, it is necessary to have knowledge of the following. That is HTML, that is hypertext markup language, which is the markup language currently being used across all the websites on the web for making the web pages. CSS, that is the cascaded style sheets. You need to have a basic idea of HTML, CSS, as well as the JavaScript. JavaScript is nothing but the client side scripting language. It is a scripting language which user uses for the client side programming. That is whatever operation or the functionality you want to perform on the client computer, JavaScript is been used. Introduction to PHP. Now PHP is a server side scripting language created by Rasmus Lerdoff in 1994. It is also used widely as a general purpose programming language. PHP stands for PHP Hypertext Preprocessor. It is an open source language. It is one of the easiest scripting language to understand and use. That is PHP was first created by Rasmus Lodov in 1994 and Currently, it is an open source scripting language that is open source in the sense people can use this particular software without paying any charge. It's completely free to download and use and also it is one of the easiest scripting language you will ever come across for performing your operations or for using it for your web applications. It is mainly used for creating dynamic and interactive web pages. What, what used to happen earlier was they used to have a normal web page on the web which used to have the static content. That is whenever the user visits that particular page consider www.xyz.com which has one particular page which gives the information of some news. So what used to happen earlier was the web pages were used to be static that is whenever user visits that particular page always the same content is been visible to the user the contents were not used to be updated as per the requirements so in even in case of different users visiting the same web page the same type of content was visible for the user so to eliminate that particular constraint the PHP has been used. PHP is nothing but a server side scripting language. It is mainly used for creating the dynamic and interactive web pages. Dynamic web pages in the sense that particular web page will be updated as per the requirement and that too for the different users the customized web page can be created. Like consider the news website which is been used across the web today. Whatever the current news has been there, it's been updated on the fly. That is, user don't like user can't see the or user 
always sees the different kind of contents or the updated the more natural or the more updated content on the news websites currently so that is nothing but with the help of PHP scripting language we can create the dynamic web pages which can be used on the web now PHP files have an extension of .php like normal HTML file while running it it has the extension of .html similarly if you are running the php file with the html content it has it always has the extension of .php and one more thing to note here is php is been embedded into the html pages that is you won't be writing the php as a, on a separate page or as a separate thing the php since it's a scripting language it will be embedded in your html page itself and whatever operation or whatever piece of code the PHP contains will be executed on the server side the server side in the sense whenever you are submitting a particular page or rather if you are consider if you are searching for a particular page over the web so what exactly happens is your web browser will send that particular request along with the domain name and the page name consider you are searching for www.xyz.com slash want a particular specific page so what exactly will happen is your web browser will send that particular request over the web and once the request has been sent over the web as per the according to the domain name whichever system over the web has that particular page will get that request and that particular computer on the network will contain the server which will search for that particular web page in that system and once it gets that particular web page since the PHP which is a server side scripting language it's been used on that particular page so what will happen is it will retrieve that page and then whatever the PHP content is there it will be executed on that particular server and with the help of the PHP interpreter it will execute the PHP contents and it will return back the HTML page and on the browser you see the result as the HTML so this is how basically the PHP operation works now let's look at various advantages of PHP PHP advantages it is free now as I mentioned you earlier PHP is an open source language that is open source in the sense whoever user wants to use that particular language can freely download that from the PHP site and as per its own requirement it can modify or customize it so it is free it helps to generate dynamic content for the web pages now it plays an important role for making the static contents on the web page as dynamic to make it more interactive for the user that is it will help you to see the particular form or to interact with the user with the help of the forms that is normally in today's different websites and the different web pages we normally see the form for sign up so what exactly happens is it will retrieve that particular data or the particular content with the help of the form and it will process the user's request it is easy to use fast and efficient now as I mentioned earlier PHP has been embedded in the HTML page so there is not a separate code which has been written on a different file what exactly happens is the PHP scripts whatever has been there it's been written in the HTML file so whenever that particular page has been processed the PHP code will be processed along with that since it's been embedded in the HTML the time that will contain for processing that particular web page will be less since both the HTML and the PHP has the same has a content inside the same page 